Hi, welcome to the vinegar and aluminum foil demo. So right now I have a piece of aluminum foil inside of a beaker and I also have 10 milliliters of vinegar, which is also known as acetic acid. Um, and I believe that's about the same amount that he used that was used in the HDL or hydrochloric acid and aluminum foil video. So what we're gonna do is you're just gonna add the vinegar into the beaker with the aluminum foil. And we're gonna wait a minute or so, see if there's a reaction. Now, if you remember with the video of hydrochloric acid and aluminum foil, um, after the hydrochloric acid sort of ate through the protective layer on aluminum foil, it started reacting pretty rapidly. And we knew it was reacting because we saw steam, we saw bubbles, the color of the foil change, and also um, it dissolved, like it broke apart. Um, right now, it's been close to uh, a little under a minute. Let's take a look. I'll even turn the camera onto the side, see if we see anything. Nothing going on there. All right, let's add a little bit more vinegar. Container of vinegar here. I'm just going to pour some more in and see if anything happens then. So now we have a lot more vinegar than was HCL. And nothing. So as you can see here, vinegar, which is a weak acid, um, there's no reaction. But with HCL, there was a reaction. Um, so and another thing to note is that vinegar is relatively uh, dilute compared to the HCL that was used in the video. So that's it for this demo. As we can see, vinegar is not really reacting with aluminum foil. If, if however, you did leave it in long enough, it will start to degrade, it would take quite a while. Or if you wanted to increase it, you, the rate of the reaction, you can also heat it up. Uh, if you heated up the aluminum foil and, the, and I mean the vinegar, um, this would go much quickly. Anyway, that's it for this video. Have a quality day.